Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video here. We have a 2012 Cadillac CTS, um, and apparently all the ABS lights came on, traction control off. This car is an all-wheel drive car, so it actually turns that off too. Um, went ahead and replaced the actual, uh, well, when we pulled diagnostics on it, it actually stated that the front uh, left, which is the driver obviously, uh, speed sensor is out. <clears throat> now, in a perfect world, the speed sensor is really not that hard to replace so you know and it's also like a thirty dollar part from your local you know automotive store so we went ahead and replaced that you know just crossing our fingers and turned the car back on and of course lights are still on still having the same issue now i'm going to show you the other reason why that sensor will uh seem to be malfunctioning so actually on the wheel bearing that's where that that sensor sits and it's like a magnetic piece i believe and as that bearing's turning, it's actually collecting data to, that pulls and throws in the computer and it's speed sensor. So that's like, you know, I think on the all-wheel drive cars that, that really has the, uh, how much power we're putting to each wheel and also on traction control. So like if, let's say for instance, the car starts slipping on ice, it cuts off power to the pedal. Um, that's what that does. Now let me show you exactly <clears throat> what happens and why that wheel bearing needs to be replaced. Okay guys, so here's the actual wheel bearing. First of all, you can just see how this thing is just, it's a mess. Um, I'm not sure, it's just a mess. Anyways, if you can see right here, so that that sensor sits right here, okay? Where my finger's at? And that's this this little strip right here, that's where it, it actually pull, it, it's a magnet, right? So that's why it's, it's getting all the readings, so, but you see, right there that's why it's not reading it so it'll go all the way around this wheel and then boom it loses data so it can't collect good good data because of that so the bearing might not be bad which usually when the bearing's bad you can it's a, it's a vibration like you know like anything else uh, so this bearing might be still good but you can't replace just that little piece you gotta replace, and actually on this car in particular, uh, it's the whole assembly. Um, so that is that is why the uh, the sensor is just showing bad on the computer. Now we went ahead and got another uh, wheel bearing assembly, and I mean that should fix the problem. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up on that um, on why it could be a wheel bearing and not the actual sensor. Now, if we were smart, <laughs> you can actually see this uh, externally uh, without, you know, you might have to take the wheel off and turn turn the wheel to the uh, to the right or to the left. And this is actually exposed on the back side, so you can actually see where that sensor is coming off. And if the wheel was in the right position, we could have saw that right there and be like, well, it's the bearing. But anyways, you might as well replace that sensor anyway since you're in there. All right, guys. Hope that hope that video was uh, informational for you guys. Uh, you know, we'll be throwing more up on a site like this. It's just your DIY guy in the garage. Thanks.